Are you wondering where you should set your entry, your stop loss, your take profit for in EURUSD, pound USD, pound yen, gold, USD CAD and US oil? You have come to the right place. I am going to show you that in today's video and as well the risks and what the market has been doing and what I would think would happen in the future. So my name is Ayn Forex Twitter economist and mentor. I do help you guys becoming profitable forex trader. At least that's what my goal is. And that's why we're here today to let's see if we can improve that. So let's go. Trading forex is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Whatever has happened in the past doesn't need to happen in the future. So um, don't risk all your money, risk a little 1% per trade and not more than 5% a month, then you should be good to go. And if you do lose your account, blow your account, please, please, please contact me and see what we can do with that to help you stop doing that. Because that's my goal. We don't want to lose, we want to win. So let's go. Your ESD. I just want to say, okay, this is what I said. If it breaks out, that's when we will be entering. Then they won't, that's as long as it's still in here, I'm not interested. Now we have broken out, we have covered a pullback. Sounds amazing. Then I said here, either it will go up and then down or go up. And I think that's pretty close to where that. So pretty close that our there is pretty close to that bottom fine good then i'll just take that away Boom. and then we should start fresh what are we doing where are we what are we doing okay so even though we have this top i'm like okay fine whatever i'm still looking at this as an uptrend that's what i will look at then i will go into my pivot points and say okay so what what did we do here we hit target early meaning we would like look for a pullback and then what happened then well price was supposed to start here but on friday went up so what do you do now well as any other trader pull back buy so up to target for this week is target for this week is 1517 okay 1520 good okay up to there and then what if price comes back down again? Oh, another good one. Another good way to enter again. As long as it stays above 1360, we are good to go up. But the day, the moment it closes below, sellers are good to go. So we don't want that as a buyer. Okay? That's what we're looking at. So. Where do you set your stop loss? Where do you set your target? Target is here. Stop loss is 50 pips, 100 pips, or below previously. So in this case, yeah, sounds good, below here. Okay, good. Then if you're a seller, what do you want to see? What do you want to do? What, what are you going to do? Well, you need a new lower low. You need a low that closes down here closes below here before we can even thinking about it but if it does target is 1280 yeah straightforward good to go the other thing is there is more buyers at the moment not a lot just slightly more there is more buyers this week and less sellers what does that make your usd your usd goes up okay so Think of that. Think, have that in mind. There's more buyers, hedge fund managers are still inching up their buys on EURUSD. So as long as it's still bullish, and I find it's still bullish, buyers are allowed to take their entries. Pound dollar. I can take away my drawings. I can take away my peer points. And yes. I do want to thank you guys for all the love and peace and comments that you give me. 
thank you guys for all the likes and thank you guys for all the subscriptions and all the comments. Keep up with it because YouTube likes it, I like it because YouTube likes it. So if you do appreciate the content, if you do appreciate me giving away time for free and giving you targets, interests and surpluses, okay, might be worth giving some small appreciation. Coffee. So, what are we doing here? What are we seeing? Price is still holding this area, I would say. Now that we have kicked off it, kicked off it, kicked off it, kicked off it, it still seems to be holding it. So is it still bullish? I would call it range bound. So in this range bound, we are again ranging. Until we break, until we break, I don't want to do anything here. Okay, but I would make you very close to those take profit zones. Yes, true, but I don't want to do anything else before that. Okay, depends on what you are, buyer or seller, depending. You need to have a direction before you can trade, unless you are range trading this in the bigger in the bigger range. Okay, another thing that I didn't mention for you to so as much is my pivot points. My pain point is this is a sell zone. This is a sell zone. We target of this green area box. And then you're like, oh, where is it? That's at 24, 27. Okay, I will make a thing here. As a seller, I will like, okay, I want price to come up here this week, take it down to this area here, take profit, go away. Same with buyers. They want price to be in this area here when the market opens. And take it all the way up to 27. Yeah. And then what do you do in the meantime? As it continues to rise, you enter the pullbacks. Like you can see, like it doesn't go straight up here, right? One, two, three, four entries. Take profit up here. Sorry. Then you're done. Smarty pants. And then <clears throat> what was the what 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 did I say about pound today? I wanted to trend, so I might have an update on Tuesday or Monday and see what it does. But for now, currently, it can go both ways. And I said twenty seven, and I said twenty four twenty seven as a target. Don't trade more above there. And if it does go above there, doesn't matter. Doesn't look beyond there. Doesn't matter to me. That's my range bounds. Gold. Oh, gold, we are still buyers. I said buyers this week. We were going up to 1840. We didn't. I'm sorry for not understanding that the market did a range this week. And then boom. Okay. So gold is very impulsive. So but there's a mix of structure. And then all of a sudden it goes boom. And I'm still tilted the upside. We have not broken. We have not gone bearish. We have just gone sideways. So... Believe it or not, we're still bullish this week. Continuing buying for the next two years. That's all we will do. We can still target up to 18, 30, 40, but 38, 40, but I would still hold it. Okay, I'm still holding. Still rising. Then we have bearish trends. Well, if you want to be a bear, and you want to take it down to 1745, 1750-46-ish, you still need a break. You can't do anything now, like now, nothing. This is not bearish, okay? You can hope for it to be bearish, but it's not bearish now. You can pray this bearish, but it's not bearish. Technical analysis says, we are still going up, 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 wait. Okay. Good. So upside on gold, 50 pip stop loss. Target is 1840. Be happy. Pound yen is, I don't know at the moment. It's a bit in the middle. 
because it is in the middle, top and bottom, middle, middle. So it hasn't broken out. It's kind of in the range somewhere. Kind of what happens in summer, sorry. So I will just, I wouldn't make this a, I wouldn't say this is a wedge or a pattern because it will develop. You might go up here, says it will break out and then come back down again. Doesn't matter, it's summer. So it will do whatever it wants to. Okay, whatever. I can go all the way up, make a new high, it can go all the way back down, make the same low again, it can make a bit lower low, it can just stop in the middle, come back down again. Doesn't matter. That's what it does in summer. Okay? Low volatility in summer, don't force it. And where what is the targets this week, you might ask? Well, let me ask you, what do you want to see? Okay, we can take it up to previous high. Sounds like a, sounds like a good deal to me. Up to 35, 70. If it breaks, if it breaks, I would say, okay, I would maybe take down to 32. Yeah, I think so. I think so. 32. 130, 132, 135, 73. Stop loss entries. No entry at the moment. Stop loss 50 pips. There will be an update, I think, on Monday, Tuesday. Or ask me in Discord. Yes, Discord channel. I have a Discord channel. You are wondering, wondering why? Well, so I can help you. What do you offer there? Well, a technical analysis course. Ooh, sounds amazing. What do you get there? Well, how I analyze the market. Well, I'm just giving a very brief understanding of what my brain is. But in technical analysis course, it's huge, right? It's not huge, but it's uh, 20, 20, 25 videos on technical analysis and how to make a trade plan, how to make a buys, and how to become a profitable forex trader using technical analysis. Cheers! Apart from that, all right. What else can you get there? A mentorship. Well, why do you might ask? Well, that's what you guys want. I'm just giving in to market demand. You guys want me to help you, and I'm trying my best as I can. What do you get there? Well, you can talk to me every single day for one hour, for the next six months. What, why, why should you do that? Well, I have been here in this industry for quite some time now and I have learned my shortcuts. That's what you, that's what you get there. Plus fundamental analysis in the mentorship course. Anyways, so let's continue. USD CAD, USD CAD is here. Still same plan, nothing has happened. I will pass. I'll make it maybe do another pair instead of used yet, but I'm just realizing nothing here. Still same. 37, 35, 34, 50. Okay, still same. Same, same, same. US oil. Bullish, but sideways. Wait for breakout. Catch the pullback. Take it up. What's your target? I don't know. 45. Doesn't need to be anything here. Well, I want to say something in the like now you're at the end, right? So so there's more buyers in the Euro, there's more buyers in Pound, there's more buyers in New Zealand, there's more buyers in Aussie. There's less buyers on on CAD. What does that mean? That USD can might not go so fast down, which is the direction we want to go in. So that's kind of the hedge funds what they're doing, but still it's summer, so not not a lot of not a lot of positions. Um, volumes are down. Trend tr the trend might not work out in the end. You might want to day trade. Reminds me, I should make a day trading video tomorrow maybe. But also, I want you to succeed. Please, in the comment section, leave your questions to the master and I will try to answer as fast as I can and as good as I can. And I don't want you to lose. I don't want, I always want you to win. So if you win, if you tell me that you made a lot of profit, amazing. If you lose risk, amazing too. And I want you to understand that Forex is understandable 
it is rational, it is always right, and it will set you free when you totally understand what it's all about. But if you blame the market saying, well, the market did this, the market did that, all of a sudden that mindset, 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 please. You need to understand when the, when you're wrong and you are experiencing a lot of emotions around when you're wrong, you have to understand. You need to gain knowledge around that. What is it about? Why does it come? Does it come from totally nowhere? Was it, was, did the big boys anticipate it? Okay. Like, for example, all of a sudden there is a risk, there is a interest rate hike, cut, whatever. But the market has already priced it in. Why? There is knowledge you need to get in. If I tell you that, if you go to my courses, I'm being told there, or if you, Learn it yourself, it doesn't matter to me. But you need to Google, research. You need to be the expert. You're paid for expertise. You're not paid to scroll through all the pairs that you can find on your chart and see if you can find a breakout. No, 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 no. You, that's not what you're paid for. You're paid to be the expert. I'm going to ask you what is like if you are an expert in Aussie. Tell me. Tell me about Aussie, what is going on there? Like how's the economy? How is the is the uh, interest rate you know, appropriate? Is it an, an improvement? Is there any any red flags and risks to the current strategy that the central bank has? You need to understand this. You need to tell me, you need to write it. You should are supposed to write a paper if I ask you such. You should be able to. Not you should, but you should be able to. Why? You're the expert. Please tell me why. Okay, until next time, I really want to succeed as Forex Trader. You need to do research, you need to research and research. Forex trading is risky, but also rewardful when you get a strategy, when you have tweaked it, and when you have a clear strategy that you can do again and again and again and again. That's when you will have consistent consistent results. So, until next time, stay safe, don't risk money, you can afford to lose. Oh yeah.